Hi, first grade, this is Ms. Miller. We're just going to do a wrap up, a little review on time to the hour. So you already saw two videos from Mrs. Gaiman and Mrs. Salam on how to tell time to the hour. So when you tell time to the hour, you wanna make sure that you're looking at the little hand on the clock. And whatever number the little hand is pointing to, that is the time that it is. So I'm gonna do this um, matching clock activity with you, and then I'm going to link two extra worksheets that you can finish to wrap up practicing telling time to the hour, okay? So let's look at this first clock. So I see that the little hand, that's the hour hand, is pointing to the 11, okay? So this time would be, 11 o'clock. So let me draw a line to match 11 o'clock. Now this clock, the little hand is pointing to the eight. So that means it would be eight o'clock. And notice first grade in all of these clocks, the minute hand, that's the big hand, is pointing to the 12 because when it points to the 12, that means the time is on the hour and it ends with o'clock. And that would be the two zeros that you see at the end of all these times here. Moving on to this clock, the hour hand is pointing to the five. So the time is five o'clock. I think time to the hour is pretty easy. It's when um, the minutes change, when it gets a little bit more difficult. Looking at this clock, the hour hand is on the seven, so it's seven o'clock. What do you think this one would be? Take a look. Look where the hour hand is. I agree. It's one o'clock. That's all the way up here. I'm creating lots of matching lines now. We have two more. Ooh, look at this one. Our hand is on the six, so what time do you think this is? Excellent, six o'clock. We have one more. Look at where the hour hand is, the little hand. What do you think? Very good, three o'clock. Good. So all you need to remember first grade is that when you're telling time to the hour, you look at the little hand, you see what number it's pointing to, and your answer has to end in o'clock, or with the two zeros at the end. So I'm gonna include two more practice pages for you. That way by the time you have completed these two, as well as Mrs. Gaiman's and Mrs. Salam's worksheets, you should be pretty good with telling time to the hour. See you later.